Morning, how are you? What time is it? 20 to 6 in the morning. I've done already. Sweat on already. I love it. And I just love, love, love the fact uh, a lot of you are just doing it regardless, even if you don't feel like it, because one, you don't remember the back of your eyelids if you stay in bed, and another one, you never regret a workout. It gives me joy to know that you're doing it, because yesterday, honestly, when I felt really low and I just did it, it changes, physically changes your state when you're getting a hot, sweaty mess. Now, that was work cycle three, workout four, and do you know what? I love them all. I think it's like when you get an album that you love, you know, an album like you used to get. <laughs> and you put a song on, you think, oh, that's my favourite. And then you do listen to another song, you think, oh, that's my favourite. So I loved that one. But it's uh, two rounds, so that which took about 25 minutes. Um, and then there's a 10 minute hit finisher. Look how sweaty I am. And I haven't even done the 10 minute hit finisher at the end because I'm actually in 20 minutes covering teaching a spinning class at the gym. Uh, I'd teach on a Wednesday morning uh, at half six, so they've asked me if I'll cover this morning, so I thought, do you know what, should I not do my workout? I thought, no, I'll do the weights bit, because I really want to do the weights, miss the hip finisher, and I'll go and do my spinning class, and have that as my hip finisher, which is 45 minutes. So, well, that, you know, there's nothing, there's no law, you know, you've got to sometimes, I think, adjust, but not jibbing out, if you see what I mean. So, anyway... I'm coming to London again tomorrow. <laughs> I've never been to London as much. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to that underground. I'm not as scared now. And I still walk up all the escalators and I can find my own way around without asking a, a man, <laughs> a guard or a woman, should I say. I might have to just stand and look at the signs a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm getting used to it. I'm coming for a one day. I signed up to one year no beer uh, about... Eight, nearly 18 months ago, just to do a 30-day alcohol-free challenge. I think I've told you about this. A 30-day alcohol-free challenge because I was drinking too much. I was, I'd been really depressed. I was drinking crap, eating crap. And I was, I was a bit of a Prosecco-loving pisshead, if I'm honest. And I was having quite a bit and it was, I was feeling toxic and just, and it just makes your mood worse and everything's crap and you're just living life rubbishly. And, uh, and creating fake happiness. You know, where you just have a drink at night and go, ooh, and then you're even more depressed the next day and you can't be arsed working out the next day. It was just, I've got myself into such a state. So I joined them and did a 30 day no drinking challenge. And I looked at my app and I got, I was 500 days yesterday, no drink. I can't believe it. And Nobody's more surprised than me and what a difference it makes to everything you to desire, mainly to your desire to want to do stuff. And I know Joe's mentioned that about alcohol. I mean, I know he advocates, which I totally agree with, that life's all about balance. And if you're going to go out, I would. And if you do drink, then have a drink and then just get back on it. But if you want to do an experiment with yourself, I suppose like I did, why not, even if you're on the plan now or say after this weekend, why not do the rest of it? trying it without alcohol. So even if you've got a week left or 10 weeks left, just even if, I know it's a bit short notice, but think about it and give it a go because it really does give you a turbo boost. I can't describe it. So I'm coming to London because one year now beer having the very first big live event and they've asked me to speak at it. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> The guy who owns it, Rory, said, right, Salis, what are you going to speak about? I said, I've no idea yet. I said, I won't script anything. I'll just get up and pretend I'm chatting. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I'd, I'd really, really highly recommend it. And if I'm being honest, now I don't mean to be rude, but anybody, if I came across anybody who didn't drink when I was drinking, I'd just think dickhead. They must be a dickhead. They must be, I wouldn't want to go out with them. I'd think, yeah, they don't know how to have fun. You know, I, re I really would. I'd, I'd just find it odd. Find I could not understand how anybody couldn't have a drink, you know. But uh, I don't recognise myself. 500 days. I only signed up for 30. Then I did 90. I thought I'm going to go for the year. And I've still not had a drink since then. And I'm never going to say never. And I don't judge people who do. But I tell you, when you're doing stuff like this, it gives you turbo boost turbo boost to just crack on because you don't that's why i get can get up at five and a half five because never have a hangover you know and if i want a nap in the day i do i'll have a nap this afternoon in the sun 
And do I feel guilty about that? Not one bit, because I've been up early, I've done my workout, done a spinning class, and yeah. So give it a try, but no pressure. I'm not, I don't want to preach to anybody, but if you're thinking about it, just maybe consider it, you know. Anyway, I'll leave you on that little thought. All right then, have a great day and get that workout done because it always feels better. Come here, needs a colour. All right then, cheerio, bye.